breaking news welcome to today's headlines release mazi unamde kanu and call for dialogue y'all a dodgy trend release mazi unamde kanu and call for dialogue you'll a dodgy trend to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from i greet you and please stay tuned as I read to this news. Nigerian actor Yul Adochi has urged the Nigerian government to release Unam Kanu and call for dialogue. Yul Adochi stated that to keep the country united and peaceful, the ruling government should listen to its people and find and find out what they are agitating for. In his word, he wrote, At the Aso Villa, release Mazi Undamdekanu and call for dialogue. In a multi tribal country like Nigeria, there will always be agitation from different cultures to keep the country united and peaceful. You should listen to your people find out why they are agitating and resolve it peacefully not by use of force nigerian actor yol edochi has urged the nigerian government to release unnamdi kanu and call for dialogue yol edochi stated that to keep the country united and peaceful the ruling government should listen to its people and find out what they are agitating for. In his word, he wrote, At the Azo Villa, release Mazi Unnamdi Kanu and call for dialogue. In a multi tribal country like Nigeria, there will always be agitation from different quarters. To keep the country united and peaceful, you should listen to your people, find out what they are agitating, and resolve it peacefully, not by use of force. Nigerian actor Yul Adochi has urged the Nigerian government to release Unnamdi Kanu and call for dialogue. Yul Adochi stated, that to keep the country united and peaceful, the ruling government should listen to his people and find out what they are agitating for. In his word, he wrote, At the Azo Villa release, Mazi Unamdekanu and call for dialogue. In a multi tribal country like Nigeria, there will always be agitation from different quarters. To keep the country united and peaceful, you should listen to your people. Find out why they are agitating and resolve it peacefully, not by use of force. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, in my own view about this, I feel what um, this Nigerian actor has done, a person of Yul Edochi, is a wise thing. He's, he's actually advising what the Nigerian government should do. And to be, to, to, to be factual about this, the, this, is, this is exactly what the Nigerian government should to do. Instead of um, holding someone in the Department of the State Services, punishing him, Terrorizing him, yeah, because they are terrorizing him, they are punishing him, because because he's fighting for people for his people's freedom and he's fighting for his own freedom too. Why should you hold? Why should you hold a human being who is not who is not who is not even um who is not even guilty of the for the accuses you are alleging him of? This is total w- wickedness and it is barbaric. And yet, I think this is what we all should do. In a state where there is cooperation, regardless of how the government are stubborn and wicked, 
they would actually do something in a very in, in, in a very fast mode. Look, Kano has been arrested. He has been rearrested rather, and he has been kidnapped back to the Nigeria since last year, June 2021. Yeah, yeah, this is February. And now February has come to an end already. By next week, we'll be entering into the month of March. And the Kano's case, uh, Kano's case has been adjourned to April. What kind of country are we into? The Nigerian country judicial is 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 nonsense. Education is nonsense. The Nigerian judiciary system is 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 is, is, is total nonsense. Judge him. What investigation are you still doing since last year June? If if this is not a wickedness, it will be almost a year. Let's see March, June, July, March, April, May, June, July. That since Kano has been has been rearrested and kidnapped back to Nigeria because. Even even bringing back to the Nigeria now is not is not even in the right is not even in the right step that is being brought back to the country. Now the horse want they all want us to, to to listen to what the government are doing. While we all know what you are doing is barbaric. While we all know we are you are punishing you are punishing the innocent man. Why would you be? Why would your mind be at rest when you know? You are holding someone irresponsible illegally in the Department of State Services. To my dear listeners, I want us to believe we are no longer safe in this country. If the right step is not taken at the right time, we are still we are still we are still dependent. We are not independent while we are while we claim we are in a, we are in independence nation. Now there is no freedom of speech. When you go out, you'll be harassed by the Nigerian security operatives on the road. Most times they threaten to shoot us if we do not present them what the, what 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 they want. What is the right? What what right as the Nigerian police have, as a normal person? What as what right as the Nigerian police has to request it for your phone, even to open for your phone to open your phone and go tr- check through your galleries, check through your um your messages, check through your mobile app, your your account mobile app. What right is that their work? If we do not fight this earlier. The earlier better, the, the Nigerian, the, this thing will go worse. In some north, this um, southwest, even where these soldiers are, they keep harassing students. They keep harassing youth that they are into cybercrime. If they had done the right thing, would that be I am I um, I cybercrime? Would youth go into the, into this thing when when universities graduate out of the school? They don't. They are not well employed. They keep roaming around the street. How do you expect them? What do you want them to hit? Personally, I'm not in support of the cyber crime, but these people feel that's the next thing for them to do. So that, that exactly that's what they will go. There's no purpose of us going to school. After school, we'll come back home and sit with our parents. Then what do you want us to do? Nigeria has Nigeria, Nigeria is collapsed already. I wouldn't say.